So when doing a problem like this, you're going to plot the information. Um, first thing is we plot the focus, which is at 1, comma 1, 2, 3. Directrix is at negative 3. Huh, OK. So first of all, we know that if the directrix is vertical, that means my parabola should open up up or down or left or right? If my directrix is vertical, that means my parabola should open up left or down, left or right or up or down? Left or right, right? You guys see? Vertical directrix, parabola opens up sideways, right? So now I just need to figure out where should it open up. Well, does my parabola open up towards my directrix or away from my directrix? Away from it. So I know the graph opens up to the right. My problem is I don't know what my vertex is. Yeah, I keep on going back to this. Yeah, so if you guys remember, if you guys look at your thing, the distance from your vertex to your vertex to your focus is P. The vertex to your directrix is opposite of P. So that's what we call the focal length. It's very important for you to hear that, Natalie. The focal length is the distance from your vertex to your, um, I'm sorry, from your directrix to your, the directrix to your focus is what we call our focal length, which is 2P. So my vertex is halfway in between. So this distance is 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, I could say my vertex is right there, halfway in between. Because vertex of focus is P, vertex of directrix is opposite of P. You guys see that? Now, all you got to do is figure out my values. So I know this is a sideways parabola, so I'm going to use this formula. Right? Sideways parabola. Then my vertex, my h and my k, this is negative 1, comma 3. So that's my h and that's my k. And then my p is the distance from my vertex to my focus, which is 2, and it's going to the right, so it's positive. So I have y minus 3 squared equals 4 times 2 times x minus negative 1. And then we just go ahead and simplify. What was the 2p? So all I'm saying, 